Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today I'll be using Photoshop Element 7 to be able to create an image that goes from pencil drawing up in one corner into a photograph on the other corner. Now this is a photo that I got off of Flickr. This is Sarah, Zara, and this is her self-portrait. So there is the credit that I'm going to give her. Now when we start with this image you'll notice that there is a lock here that is Photoshop's way of saying that we don't want anything to happen to this background so if you've watched any kind of tutorials you notice that most people use the com command or control J to be able to create a new identical layer of the background layer control J and now you can see that it copied this background layer onto a new layer and the reason we do that is so that it does not destroy the background layer so now I'm free to do with what I want with this image that is on a new layer now I'm going to convert this into a black and white using some standard portrait templates or some um, presets that they have already and this is kind of a nice image that you can see it converted it into black and white now one of the reasons why we converted it into black and white is I'll be using a colored pencil filter and we don't want to get any color in there I'm gonna select OK and that does look very nice here I'm going to enhance this a little bit further by going and adjusting the lighting using the levels so you see that there's my levels and I'm just gonna drag these sliders in these are input levels and what it does is it kinda of reduces the number of black and white tones that are in an image so I'm gonna take this down and you can see the blacks are getting darker and I'm gonna take it right about here and then I'm gonna take the whites to about where this peak is I'm gonna draw this down to where this peak now there are less mid-tones in here, there's less tones. It was going from 0 to 255 and you can see that I took some of that away which means that our image is more contrasty now. And I do like that because we're going to make a pencil sketch of this and I'm going to select OK. Now that's starting to look real nice but you're not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing with this. I'm going to be going to my filter menu and I'm going to go to the artistic submenu and this is why I'm going to turn it into black and white because I'm going to use colored pencil here and I, oh look at that and that's nice you got some really nice pencil drawing lines that are in here I'm going to use a width of about one and I'm going to slide the brightness all the way up so now this looks like paper here and I'm just going to leave this middle one alone it's kind of nice here with the dark hair pencil strokes and then I'm gonna select OK because I do like this now let's focus our attention over here into the layers palette I have the original photograph in the background layer and then above that on another layer I have the pencil sketch drawing now one thing that elements does not have it does not have any kind of a masking tool so in order to do that uh, you, if you've ever looked at Jack's tech, tech corner over there, he's shown, shown you how to use a type of masking technique, and this is what most people use in Photoshop Elements. So I'm going to add an adjustment level, uh, adjustment layer, and I'm just going to select layers, and I'm not going to uh, levels, and then I'm not going to do anything about that. I'm going to select OK, and you can see that it puts a an adjustment layer right here above my background image. Now that didn't in and of itself do anything. The next thing that we have to do is make a clipping group or a, a mask of this. So I'm going to select Control G and that is just the group with previous command. Not really important that you should memorize it, the, what it is. Just know that this technique uses the Control G and control G and you'll notice it kind of pops that over here now this is the part that gets kind of tricky and anything that's white is going to show this layer and anything in here that's black is going to let the original image bleed through so if I use the control delete 
what that does is it fills it with black and that's because I had black in my background there so now because this is black my original image is shining through and we can't see this any longer well if I want part of this image to shine through then I would paint white on here and the first thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you a gradient that goes from white to black I'm going to drag this right here from the top and then let go and you can see if you focus down here all the areas that are white use this top layer and everywhere that it is black lets the original photo bleed through now this is kinda nice and it has a nice effect but I'm gonna use the paintbrush to be able to paint that white in there this does look kinda nice and it's going from a pencil sketch to the photograph but I really don't like the way that's looking so I'm gonna undo my gradient right there and I'm gonna select a brush this time and I have picked about 80 you can use the left and right bracket keys to be able to make the brush larger and smaller and then I've put the opacity down to about 32 because I don't want to get anything really harsh looking right here and then I'm gonna make sure that I'm on white here as my foreground and if it's not you can click this little white black set default background colors right there or click D on the keyboard uh, lots of different things that you can do in Photoshop and hopefully I'm not confusing you but the main thing is is that you want to paint with white now watch what happens when I paint with white and especially want to get some of the eyes in there and uh, starting to look really nice and now it's kind of starting to look like somebody started a pencil drawing and is starting to paint in the other parts of the colors there now let's focus back down here again you can see that I've kinda of got a little bit of white in here and wherever the white is that's where my image is right here from the top and then anywhere the black is is this bottom image is bleeding through so I've taken this which is a pencil sketch drawing and it's kinda of blended into a photo image and I hope you like that I will catch you around and if you have any questions please leave me a comment on my blog or my web page and I'm pretty good about answering those things and subscribe do me a favor and subscribe because I come up with some more kinda of fancy tricks to do with Photoshop and some other things with Mac so I will catch you around